6th of February. Wednesday hump day. Let's get right into it here. Uh, Governor Lowe obviously was bearish or dovish or whatever. Lame for the Aussie currency. Got smashed. 72.40 down to 71.40. We're down uh, one and a quarter percent. Don't chase this uh, if you don't have it on yet. You want to try and sell this between 85 and the figure today uh, if it gets back up there, which I doubt it will. We talked about selling this stuff between 65, uh, between 50 and 80 yesterday. That turned out to be an excellent trade. But at the end of the day, we got kind of bored and we just squared it, took our money. Um, that turned out to be a stupid idea. But it's tough uh, here in Europe. You don't want to go into low at 4 o'clock in the morning with a position. Um, so we just move on. Uh, for those of you who are short, who kept your shorts, uh, this looks very bearish now. Let's move to the dailies. No reason to believe that this doesn't get through this uh, 71 and a quarter uh, level. The low today has been 40. The low on the 29th was 38. So there's no reason there's no reason to think this doesn't go a bit lower here over the next coming days. Uh, when your central bank governor lets you down like that, uh, it's important. It's uh, it's real. So short Aussie looks the way. Elsewhere, Euro Yen also turned. We talked about that yesterday as well. Slow turn, um, but turn nonetheless up there, 125.60. We did not trade this. Um, not really sure what to do from here. A lot of lines you can draw that the market will be looking at. Here's one of them. Um, sort of a channel here. So now we're dead center in the channel. Uh, just because of the data that's been coming out of Europe, I, I like Euro again lower. Still scarred from this bar here on uh, non-farm day on the 1st of Feb. But c'est la vie. This, this looks like it's turned. Euro again looks like we're heading lower. You would think with Aussie lower and Euro again lower, we'd have this massive risk off going on, but we really don't. Equities are up here, 27.32. This is huge. This 200-day. Um, We've been talking about getting on the sell side around the 200-day here. Here we are, uh, 27.43. So between 27.40, 38 and 48 is kind of this zone here that we're going to get short and play the course short. Um, Let's just see how we go here. Uh, I mean, you can make arguments uh, for the long side. You can make arguments for the short side. We favor the short side basically because of the rates. We think rates are going to go higher. Um, and also just because earnings are sort of petering a bit. They're not collapsing, but they're petering. So as price goes higher, if earnings are not keeping up, uh, this will be just technical pressure on the downside. And then you have also the mathematics, 200-day moving average. These highs here are obviously massively important, 28.13. Can't really risk 70 handles, so we'll, we'll keep it professional here, and, and this will be a cut sort of through 60. So, you know, Pick your entry point based on the risk you want to take. If this does turn up here, we think it's the the turn, and we'll be adding through 26.13. Um, so we're going to hold shorts here for sort of a medium term play, and then add through here. If it gets through 27.60, we just cut, cut bait, and uh, look at something else. Dollars are uh, core long. Uh, we're waiting for this. Right now the story is not as good as we would like it, so we're, we're very tepid here. Tiny, tiny little long position that we have from a couple days ago. 
trading it from the long side. The average is good, so we're not too worried. The question is, when can you put the hammer down for Czar? Uh, it's not hammer time yet. Uh, we look. This looks like it wants to turn, uh, and if our ideas about rates and risk off come into play, dollar Czar is your horse. This is not coming to play yet. Rates, rates responded higher yes I mean lower yesterday price is higher rates lower equities are higher so the story is not great for for dollar rand what's good about it is even though the story switched the price stayed higher so we initiated this stuff in that 35 37 area we've been trading it around it here we are at 1342 we like dollar rand higher what else is out there Kiwi got smashed uh, in conjunction with uh, Aussie. Don't want to chase this. Um, it's always tough when Asia is driving the, driving the car. We come in in Europe and you want to chase. It's best to be patient and wait for better setups. Quick look at the calendar here. We got unemployment in Kiwi land in New Zealand tonight. Uh, we got Powell speaking also. Where the hell is Powell? Very late speaking. 7 p.m. New York time. Boo. That's going to be very late for us. Um, otherwise, in, in Europe, we have not too much German factory orders. Pretty light on the uh, calendar today. Oil inventories, if you're insane enough to trade oil. Um, so we're kind of sitting and waiting here um, Euro Yen has turned, Aussie has turned uh, Dollar Swiss were on the fence here a lot of wood chopped up there above uh, 100, between 100 and 120 but as we talked about these are huge huge corporations here who are going to be doing some hedging up here at 1 you have to be patient with Dollar Swiss if this dollar Swiss is going to turn and attack these highs up here at 101, 102, it'll take days. You need many, multiple daily closes above one to feel safe that dollar Swiss has turned. And typically, what happens is the first couple of days it's sort of a failure. But you can just imagine how much, how many dollars have to be hedged. From these Swiss corporations like Nestle, like ABB, all the watchmakers. Think about it also, all of the Swiss banks, when they do a US equity transaction, they get paid in dollars. There's a lot of dollars to hedge in this country, so let's keep an eye on this. Uh, this is not conclusive yet, so we are very tiny long with no conviction. And on the personal side, we're hedged. We also join the join the flock here and hedged. We don't really take a view. We don't trade dollar Swiss as far as managing our P and L here. We just hedge it um, anytime we get above one. Anyway, I said enough. I will uh, let you guys get to it. Make some dough today, and I will talk to you tomorrow.